Hey guys, Joanna coming in. Got another battle replay for you here on Total War Rome 2. Welcome back to the land of sieges. But here we are yet again on the battlefield itself. And we do have a 2v2 uh, land battle here. And we actually have a little bit of a surprising guest playing over here as my teammate. We have the one and only. I'm actually going to slow this down because I see some of the cab over there moving. All right. Uh, we have Pixelated Apollo. This was a battle that he did on his stream like a month ago. Uh, and I just happened to be able to join in and fight with him on one. So it was pretty cool to get in there. Uh, let's take a look at his army though. So Pixelated Apollo here playing as Pergamon. And he has brought five units of Galician swords, four Thoreo spears, two pikemen, three Pergamese noble cavalry. One of those being the general. Four archers, one Hippias lancer, and a citizen cavalry. Moving over to my army here, I'm playing as Massilia. I had brought seven units of Thorax Swordsman, four Massilian Thoreo Spears, three Axe Warriors. My general is a Massilian Cavalry. I also had brought three units of Gallic Hunters, one Celtic Slinger, two Citizen Cavalry, and I did bring a Hippias Lancer. On the other side, we will first take a look at Epirus, who I'm going to be taking on here. Epirus being commanded by Sandrutamas, and he has brought four units of Thoreo Spears, three Italian Swordsmen, three Illyrian Levies, Two Samnite Warriors. His general is a Royal Peltast. He also has two units of Mercenary Italian Cavalry, two Thessalian Cavalry, two Rodian Slingers, and he brought a Scorpion right there on the battlefield. Awesome. I don't, th I don't think there were any rules. Uh, and then we do have a Parthia over here being commanded by Bulk Maskey, and he has brought four units of Parthian Swordsmen, three Hillmen, three Mercenary Hoplites. General is a Royal Cataphract. He has two Camel Cataphracts, two Eastern Slingers, one Armored Horse Archer, and one Noble Horse Archer. So there you go, guys. Army comps out of the way. We do have some of the Horse Archers making their way across over here. It's going to be a tough fight, but there is a lot of Spears on this side. He does have a decent amount of uh, the Toreo Spears, so hopefully he'll be able to do pretty well over on my side as well. But I think I was kind of matched up pretty well cavalry-wise. Yeah, I do have four. They have four. Uh, I mean, Apollo's got a bunch of cavalry over here as well. But all right, guys, let's get ready to dive in for the replay. All right. So as normal land battles go, it usually has a little bit of a slow start. And then all of a sudden it just explodes into madness. So uh, I'm going to just kind of go here at the beginning. I did have br I did bring up two units of my citizen cavalry and the Hippias Lancer up a little bit further on this side. I was planning on maybe getting some shots with my archers and slingers that were behind the cavalry over here once Empress decided to move forward. It was kind of a little bit of a waiting game, though. Uh, his scorpion has moved up. It's actually his scorpion is still moving. No, no, he's firing. His scorpion is firing. Already has 27 kills. Uh, over on this side, Pergamon's archers just really not stacking up against the part. Yeah, the eastern slingers. Slingers are way better to bring on land battles than archers are. They really are. They really, really are. They have a much higher uh, armor penetration than um, than archers do. But all right, we got the Parthia, I'm sorry, Galatian swordsmen making their way forward. We have some of the citizen cavalry and the Paeus Lancer right behind them. Unit of the Rayo Spears peeling off from this back area over here. We do have the two units of noble archers, or noble horse archers, and the armored horse archers over on this side. Kind of just doing a little bit of threatening, but oh God, here's the beginning. Yeah, problem. No, don't run away. Ouch. A whole lot of ouch. Whole lot of ouch. Big smash on those Galatian swords. But he is doing a very good job converging in onto those Camel Cataphracts. Going to try and lock them into position. Or lock them in for a kill, I should say. R rushing the rest of his infantry across the battlefield here, though. Getting into these mercenary hoplites. Uh, back on the other side, we do see some of the cavalry starting to make their way forward. But no, no, no. He backed on up. He retreated away very, very quickly. I think he was going to try and get a charge across into my Galax, who my Galax Hunters are not... I don't think they're winning right... Oh, they are? Maybe they are winning. This battle was like a month ago, so guys, I apologize if I don't remember everything that goes on. Uh, but Empress, you can see, starting to shift some of his infantry on over here to help out his Parthian ally. Big old huge cavalry engagement going on right here. Decent amount of spears still in the mix here though, but they are starting to lose a little bit. Camel Cataphract's doing pretty good. 116 kills for that unit. This unit here with 98, but there is a unit of Pikes. So Pikes did shift over here. They're getting some really good kills on those Camel Cataphracts. Hillman on their way out as well. Back on the other side, though, starting to close in infantry-wise. 
got some mercenary Italian swordsmen cutting off some of my thorax. Thorax are going to continue on getting into the Sam Knights, so. Uh, yeah, my, my Gallic Hunters did not do very well. That unit, 32 kills, 37 left. This unit, though, starting to do pretty good. 89 kills, starting to fire across, getting into the Illyrian levies. Just trying to knock down infantry as much as I can. Uh, but his Rodian Slinger starting to move up over here. Let's take a look at his Scorpion again. 80 kills with his Scorpion. Still nothing really going on on the flank as far as our cavalry is concerned. I don't think any... Yeah, my range did not start firing. But I started bringing one of my Hippias Lancers around. I think my plan was to just try and charge in here and get rid of this Thessalian. It's Thessalian cavalry right there. But nope, you can see so the Italian's cavalry starting to come back over. Uh, back over on the other side though. Yeah, Pergamon is starting to get really really surrounded the horse archers back here doing okay 95 kills with that unit but long javelin volleys really long javelins from those Thoreo spears unfortunately the galatian swords getting ripped up pretty good Burgamy's no cavalry 44 and 14 general is up in the middle here in the fight 15 kills for him pikes are starting to fall back away from that line but yeah pretty much galatia i'm sorry uh pretty much pergamon's infantry line is uh gone it's essentially gone so on the opposite side of the battlefield, I actually had to rush in. Because I have to try and do as much damage to Epirus. I almost said Parthia. To Epirus as possible. Uh, since, I'm sorry, the Italian cavalry charged on over here. I think he was trying to get into my Gallic Hunters, but was thankfully able to get them back for the most part behind. Some of the Thoreo spears there getting a toss off, but unfortunately one of my citizen cavalry there just completely breaking down, not really performing very well. Six kills in total. Thessalian and the Hippias uh, Lancers still going pretty good. Hippias Lancers doing pretty well. Uh, but again, my other second unit of my citizen cavalry getting taken out. As far as infantry goes, though, so far Epirus does look like they are holding the line. He did get a unit of his Italian swordsman around the back side of some of my thorax axe warriors there as well. Pergamon's still doing fighting over there. He's still fighting, though. He's still trying to do the best that he can. Armored Horse Archer's going to get a massive rear charge in onto the back of this archer unit. Actually clipping into some of the Hippias Lancers there as well. 200 kills for Armored Horse Archers. Very nicely done there. Uh, I don't know where his other Horse Archer unit is. Are they dead? I don't remember if they're dead. But over on this side, thankfully, my Hippias Lancer unit did win, and I got a huge charge in with my Basilian Cavalry General in onto a unit of the, uh, I don't remember what that was, Missionary Italian Cavalry. So I'm doing okay. Ranged are now starting to get some pretty good kills. 17 there, 22 there. The Rayo's starting to shift their way down over here. So now it's going to basically be my Hippias over here by itself. So I'm going to try and quickly get it away before these Thoreos really have an opportunity to get any leftover javelin. Oh, there's a volley. Oh, yeah, he killed some. He definitely killed a lot more. Down to 27. Down to 27. But back over here in the middle, my infantry has actually broken through, starting to get across here. Thorax Swordsman charging in, going to chase away these Rodian Slingers. Unfortunately, he still has this freaking scorpion, though. 127 kills, and I think he starts shooting right into my thorax there. It's going to just kill them. I mean, there's really not much I can do. I did have my general coming around over here, though. He's going to try and get into those Rodian Slingers. But for the most part, I have been victorious against Epirus for the most part. But there is a lot of Parthia left and not a whole lot of Pergamon left. Unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. Pergamon, Pikeman here, 186 kills. Pretty solid with that unit. This unit of the Rayo Spears, 115 and he has a pace lancer there with 73. But that's pretty much about the... Oh, no, he's got another uh, Galician right there. Okay, Galician Swords coming back over. My general did get the charge in onto the Rodian Slingers, but unfortunately, he just had two units. And he actually did a really smart move. He left one unit there, and he pulled the second one unit back to fire into the rest of my general unit there. But my Thorax are finally going to be able to silence this freaking Scorpion, thank God. Scorpion is finally gone. Uh, this over here is a problem. Yeah, there's really not much I can do. I ran out of cavalry, so unfortunately for me, big old charge into the Italian cavalry, uh, into my uh, Celtic Slingers there. They did okay. Not really, actually. No, they didn't do good at all. They did rather horrible. 26 kills there. Gallic Hunters with 46. Uh, back over here, though, some of my Thoreo Spears currently taking on a unit of his Thoreo Spears, but he's got another one just sitting back, tossing, just sitting back, throwing. Uh, my, th my Thorax Swordsman were victorious in killing off the Scorpion crew, but yeah, they're just surrounded. There's really not much. I don't really have very much of a choice. So it's either charge at one Rodian Slinger or charge at the other. And they're just going to get annihilated. So there goes that. Uh, back in the center, his Sam Knights are holding pretty well. I was able to get an Axe Warrior around a little bit on the flank there. 
to try and kill off some more of his Sam Knights. Cavalry charging in yet again, but I think I do actually save this Gallic Hunter unit. Yes. Actually, I didn't even need to do anything. Okay. Uh, another unit of his 3 -0 Spears charging in over onto mine. Looks like I am starting to be a little... Yeah, this actually unit 160. I didn't realize it was still that strong. Uh, back over on the other side here for Pergamon, though. Unfortunately, that is his final unit right there is his general. And I believe his general is dead. But he definitely did a decent amount of damage. He did a lot more damage than I thought he was going to be able to do. Cataphracts, I think the, the uh, Kama Cataphracts were left in melee for way too long over here. So very well done on this side at least. Pergamon was able to take that stuff out. or the At least he took out the Cataphracts or the majority of the Cataphracts. 167 on that Cataphract unit there though. So one of them is still on the battlefield. But Pergamon is angry and they are just going to charge right into those Rodian Slingers. Massive charge into them, and he's just going to keep on going. Get into that next unit. Hopefully, he does get into them. Hopefully, hopefully, he does get into them with a nice, nice, nice charge. Yeah, a little bit of a charge. But again, majority of the unit was taken out. 14 left in the unit. Very heavy shock cavalry. Uh, minute 10 left. I'm still fighting over on this side. Thoreos not looking good against his Thoreos. My Basilians here looking okay. So it's kind of like an even trade back and forth there. But this is not an even trade at all. Uh, we have a lot of Parthian forces making their way over here. Archers are starting to fire. I think I'm trying to fire at the Royal Peltas General just to try and take them down a little bit, but of course, warrior ability right there. Intimidate was used on my Axe Warriors to change... Actually, they were used on a unit that doesn't even have an ability. So that's actually kind of weird. I wonder why he did that. Uh, but the Camel Cataphracts were able to walk right through my Massilian Thoreo Spears there. My archers are still firing, 113, 114 kills for them. I think this was a little bit of a mistake on my part. Probably should have had this uh, three of spear. Oh, no, they come back. Okay, they are coming back. But on this side, yeah, finally I end up starting to lose. I think it just came down to the fact that we didn't have any generals left. And, uh, I mean, Parthia had so much left over. So much left over. But it was definitely a fun battle to have. It was good to fight with Apollo once again. Haven't been able to do that in a really long time. Because he doesn't really play Total War very much anymore. He's been doing a lot of uh, Bannerlord stuff. But all right, let's take a look at the kills. We'll start off looking at my army here. I ended with 2,041 kills. General, unfortunately, only 53 kills. Uh, my Citizen Cavalry did not do very well. My Pace Lancer, 81. Ranged, 121, 138. Slingers, unfortunately, didn't get a lot. Axe Warriors, though, 155, 198. Uh, the Thoreo Spears, 99, 183. My Thorax, 157, 227, 198, and 115. So four out of the five did pretty good there. Uh, then we will take a look at Pixelated Apollo here with Pergamon. Unfortunately, only 1,201 kills, but his General, 165. His other Pergamese, Noble Cav, 95 and 75. Archers, unfortunately, just did not have the really stand-up power to uh, deal with those Rhodian Slingers. Uh, 38, some of his Galatian swords, 89, 33. Pikes, 237 kills on a pikeman unit. That's pretty solid. And his Thoreos there, 142. Second unit there was 41. Getting it on to the other side, we have Bulk Maskey playing as part of the 2,347 kills. So very, very well done. Royal Cataphract General, 273. His Armored Horse Archers, 240. Camel Cataphracts, 183, 117. One of his Slingers with uh, 160. Getting in with the Hillman. Actually, had two Hillman over 100. 137, 114. That's insane. Uh, his Mercenary Hoplite's top unit there was 90. And his Parthian Swordsman did great. 133, 243, 145, and 202. And then we have Sandarudamas over here with Empress. 270 with his General. His Scorpion on a land battle, 151. Italian Cavalry, 111. Uh, his Thessalian actually didn't do very well. Top unit there was 93. His Slingers, though, unloaded. 197, 250. Great job there. Zillerian Levy's not a whole lot. Top was 54. Italian Swordsman, 95 was the top. Sam Knight Warriors, 132. And his Thoreos top unit there was 119. But there you go, guys. Quick, fast, easy, fun land battle. Don't really fight land battles very often myself. So it was kind of interesting to get in there. But hopefully you guys did enjoy the battle. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share the content around. And of course, I hope you guys have all a great day. Enjoy. And as always, until the next one. Hey guys, I just wanted to take this opportunity to send a special thanks to my Patreon supporters and my YouTube members. Thank you very much for your continued support. I really appreciate it.